Hey guys, welcome back to another extreme cleaning video. Today's video is all about my fall cleaning routine. So it's all of the things that I try to make sure during the fall season that get cleaned every year. Today's video is packed full of cleaning motivation. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited about it. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any fun content. Also, today's video is a collab with my sweet friend, Justine Marie. She is one of my favorite people who I've met here on YouTube. She's got tons of great content on her channel like cleaning videos, Costco hauls, Amazon favorites, meal ideas, tons more good, good content. And I love the way that she films. So if you're into that kind of stuff, I know you'll absolutely love her. So go check out her video after you finish mine. I will have her video and her channel linked in the description box below. So the first thing on my list was to go through and just wipe down all of the cupboards in my kitchen. This is not something that I do on a regular basis. So you'll see here in just a couple minutes, the amount of dirt that came out of this was so crazy. Like I'll show you in the video, I'm gonna pour it out into the sink and you can see just how dirty my cupboards were. It's really bad. Also, I continued to do that so I clean different things throughout this video like the fireplace and my chairs and I just did some deep cleaning on things like that. And every single time I finished one of those areas, I switched out the water. So I'll show you in this video just how dirty my house really is. And yeah, so if you wanna see those things, don't click out. So I know this portion of the video is getting kind of redundant, so I wanted to ask a fun question that we can all answer in the comments and I'll answer as well. So what is the stupidest thing you've done on your own free will? So for me, it had to have been in college. I went on a trip to Belize and I got back into my hotel room and I knew that I had a bug bite on the back of me but I couldn't see it so I was trying to stand on a sink to hoist myself up so that I could see it and I ended up breaking the sink and water started shooting out everywhere and <laughs> it flooded the room that I was in and they had to turn off the water to the entire hotel and everybody was coming out I was with a big group of people and <laughs> It was so funny because everyone was talking about how I broke the sink and I let all this water flood my room and get everything wet for my friends. And oh my gosh, it was so embarrassing all to see a mosquito bite. So anyways, that is the dumbest thing I've ever done. I would love to hear in the comments what the dumbest thing is or most embarrassing thing, whichever that you've done.
check out how disgusting this water is about to be. This is all dirt that came from my cupboards. Ew, so gross. And don't forget, I'm gonna show you all the dirt that came off of my other items that I'm cleaning. So now I'm just heading in and I'm going to clean all of the light fixtures. This was something that I had seen on Pinterest that's a good idea to do. And so I went ahead and did that with all the light fixtures that I have downstairs. And now I'm just gonna be pulling all of the dining room chairs into the, I don't know what this is called, in between the dining room and the living room. It's all one room. Anyways, I am going to be using the Method Wood for Good and I'm just gonna be spraying them all down and then I'm gonna get my hot soapy water because these Ikea chairs tend to cling to dirt or the dirt clings to the Ikea chairs. And for some reason, they just get so coated with dirt. I don't know why I could wipe them down every day, which I don't, but I could wipe them down every day and it would just have this like, I feel like it, it has like some sort of material that kind of sticks to your clothes. And so I think that that's part of it. I don't know. I don't even know, but they are just dirty, dirty, dirty. So I was working hard and scrubbing for the next little while, trying to get them clean. And you'll see at the end, my water was, I think either this or the fireplace had the worst and dirtiest water. <laughs> So here is the moment of truth. Look at that dirty water just from my chairs. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Even 
though this stuff um, is not necessarily on my fall cleaning routine list, I wanted to wipe a few things down while I was in the mode of cleaning. So I wiped a few things down, I cleaned the kitchen down, and then I think I went upstairs eventually and I'm going to clean um, my room and bathroom. I have really bad seasonal allergies right now. I don't know if anybody else out there has them. I've heard a couple other friends talking about them, but mine are pretty bad. The porch that we have right off of our um, condo has a tree that I am highly allergic to, so that's unfortunate. But anyways, you'll see me sneezing throughout this video or wiping my nose or whatever. So now I'm just gonna grab my vacuum and I'm gonna put on this little, I don't know what you call it, like, um, what do you call those things? A little piece that attaches, oh, attachments, there you go. I'm gonna put on an attachment that I can get into like the small little crevices better. And I'm gonna admit something right now, but I have never cleaned this fireplace since living here. Um, we are not the owners of this place, we're renting, but um, yeah, isn't that crazy that I've never cleaned this? And can I just say that I have been loving looking at the fireplace ever since I cleaned it. It looks so much better. I cannot wait till we like can put a fire in it. And this is on my fall cleaning routine because guess what? It's gonna be time to have fires in the fireplace soon and I wanna make sure that it looks clean and nice and um, that it's all ready. And I'd love to hear down in the comments, I've been talking about this a lot on Instagram with you guys, but I'd love to hear if it is cooling down where you live or not quite yet. I have heard some stories about like Ohio and different places that are having record breaking heat right now. And I know I have been posting pictures of me wearing Uggs in like 48 degrees in the morning on my insta stories and i know so many people have been messaging me like i'm jealous what is wrong with this you're in los angeles and you're having colder weather than me in ohio or wherever the state is <laughs> so anyways um let me know down in the comments if you are having cooler weather or if it's still really hot cleaning the glass with the glass cleaner that I just got from the Dollar Tree and I really like the way this stuff works and it's kind of fun because it goes on white and then you wipe it all up and it's clear and I really like it. It works well for me and I wish I could use it on the inside of the glass but the way that these doors open it just does not really, I guess I could have gone from the top down. Now that I'm looking at it I definitely could have gone from the top down. Maybe I'll try that after <laughs> after I do this voiceover. And here we go for the moment of truth. Let's see how dirty this water got. Oh, that's pretty bad. That would definitely be close to like the chairs. So the chairs in the fireplace are just about the same as dirty ones. And now I'm just gonna be unloading my dishwasher 
and cleaning up the kitchen because I decided if I am cleaning for this long of a period of time and then when I'm done cleaning, I realize that all these things are still messy in my house, it's gonna drive me nuts. So I went ahead and cleaned up the kitchen and unloaded the dishwasher and then I'm gonna load the dishwasher here in a second and I felt so much better once those things were done. So while I was filming this video, I got a delivery at the door and it's just my purple carrot meal delivery service. And I just was opening it up and putting everything in the refrigerator so that it would stay nice and fresh. And this is a really cool um, company and I'll be sharing more about it in my upcoming vlogs. Now on to my favorite thing to do, which is wipe down my counters. I swear, wiping down my counters, making my bed, and vacuuming my floors is just like 
the best thing ever. What do you guys love to clean? next thing I like to do for my fall cleaning routine is to go and spot check different areas on the wall. Now my kids tend to climb over this gate because it's there for Hudson, my one-year-old. And because of that, there's lots of like footprints and handprints and stuff all over the wall. So I just was going through and finding little areas, more areas with little spots and stuff like that. It just happens so easily with three kids, especially in such a tiny little space. I'm really excited about this part of the video and this part of my cleaning because I wanted to get all my curtains down and wash them, which I was having issues with the curtain rod, so my husband came over and was helping me. But I felt so good once I was putting these guys back up and they were all cleaned and washed and fresh. And I think one of them even had been folded kind of like I don't know weird and so it had some wrinkles in it so once I got it all washed and cleaned and everything the wrinkles were gone and I just felt better about them Wow, the lighting in this clip is so much better than that last clip <laughs> I'm just going upstairs into our little laundry nook and I'm gonna be just putting all kinds of um, our soaps into the dispenser and it's funny that I, I just looked at the camera and I forgot to cut that part out but you know what sometimes I look at the camera and it's totally out of focus or things like that and I'll be like oh my gosh how long has it been doing that so anyways I tend to look at the camera to see if I'm in focus so if you notice me doing that, I know somebody commented recently on one of my videos and was like, why do you keep looking at the camera? I try to cut those parts out, but sometimes I miss them. Um, so right now I'm just going in with my lime sea salt spray by Method and I get this from Grove and I just love this stuff. It smells so fresh and clean. And anyways, I'm wiping down my washer and dryer and that's part of my fall cleaning routine as well.
I'm just heading into my room and I'm gonna be making my bed. Did you see the camera unfocused there for a second? Yes, there it goes. It's messing around. And so that's why I always have to check and look at the camera. Anyways, okay, I'm getting off, off track here. So I'm just gonna be making my bed tidying up my room, wiping down some of the surfaces, and just kind of getting things re-put back together. just heading in and emptying my trash and I just wanted to thank you guys for watching another cleaning video with me if you've made it all the way to the end air hug over the internet right now I'm giving you a big air hug because this is a long video but thank you so much for watching another video and I'm excited to see you in the next one Don't you worry about me. If I don't you worry.